Most people view a firewall as protection only from the internet, when actually, and more often, a firewall is used to control traffic within an enterprise network. This implementation is best explained if we start by reviewing network development. Since the beginning of networking, administrators have struggled with ways to keep some data secure from internal users who may require access to other information on the network. In the past, in traditional client-server or mainframe environments, securing portions of the network was accomplished through a simple network login process. The server or mainframe processed the user login and granted access privileges based on the user ID. This simple solution worked well in networks in which there were many users utilizing one server or mainframe. Today, however, networking environments are far more complex. Users now access the Internet, Extranet, internal intranets, databases, and multiple servers. Often, administrators want to limit access to sensitive resources, such as financial databases, engineering intranets, or even the Internet. The first step to segregate these sensitive resources from users is to place the resource in their own VLAN using some type of authentication process. Once a network's sensitive resources have their own VLAN, an administrator can deploy firewalls between the resource and users so that there is added internal security. These firewalls, coupled with authenticated access VLANs, which grant users access based on logins and passwords, greatly enhance an organization's network security.